Don't touch anything that isn't on the schedule. Okay. A little bit of context. I work in a manufacturing plant for a multinational company producing microchips. I am the shift lead engineer on night shift for the front end of the week. Sunday Wednesday. So there is very little oversight from management except when I see them in the morning on my way. Out the door. The machines we work on are huge. Think Greyhound bus size. And require fairly strategic planning to get the most we can out of them. In recent months the day shift team has been slacking on their scheduled maintenance items normally. This isn't a big deal since we are understaffed just like just about every other company in America. Right now and we pick up the slack where we can on night shift. The machines run 24 hours a day so if you have to pass work to the incoming shift it isn't an issue. And everyone tends to help out everyone. The problem comes in when day shift or the other end of the week move scheduled maintenance off of their shift but don't move it in our scheduled work calendar. When the machines reach their critical threshold they shut themselves down until the work is performed. This is normally at midnight on days I'm working. Well as it happens this has been occurring more and more over the past few weeks and I've been letting my senior manager know that's why we've been seeing an availability drop on our not from lack of effort. He is a newer senior manager so I try to explain the critical thresholds to him and how we need to at least keep the calendar accurate so we don't have any surprises by machines shutting themselves down unexpectedly. He didn't really seem to want to listen to this and brushed me off telling me, if it isn't on the calendar, don't work on that machine. Q malicious compliance. On Sunday night when I get into work the schedule is completely empty. Not uncommon for weekends. But wouldn't you know it three maintenance items had been moved from the back end of the week and were never rescheduled. So at midnight three machines shut themselves down for maintenance. But I've been told if it isn't on the calendar I can't touch those machines. I walk up to the production floor and tell all my technicians that we won't be working on any of those machines as they aren't scheduled for us to complete and per the area senior manager we don't touch anything unless it's on the calendar. They've been getting more and more frustrated recently with this so their eyes light up as I tell them we won't be completing any of the work. Then comes Monday morning. I tell the incoming shift and my direct manager about the machines and they have a good laugh about the situation. It's only roughly two hours of work per machine so I didn't completely screw over day shift. And then I run into my senior manager on my way out the door and casually let him know we have three machines that have been down for six hours and need to be added to the schedule so somebody can start working on them. His eyes just about pop out of his head and he says, how could you let three machines sit down for half the night and not even start on them? Were there other machines down that stopped you from getting to them? And I responded with, no. You just told me if it isn't on the calendar don't touch it. His face went beet red and I saw the vein on his temple start throbbing. But he knew I was right. Since then the calendar has been pretty dang accurate and I if I see a tool going critical he's now informed me that I'm allowed to work on it to keep the product flowing. Brilliant. But I hope you got all of that in writing. Because whenever you embarrass an asshat by revealing to him his own stupidity, he's likely to try to find a way to retaliate. Baby managers need to be trained. All the basic things. Listen to your employees. They usually know stuff. There is, usually, good reasons for a policy. We are understaffed like just about every other company in America, is a fun way to say. Corporations refuse to pay Americans fair wages. Nothing like seeing a manager hoisted by their own petard. I never understood, run to fail, strategy. Preventive maintenance increases capacity. I hate it when people try to prove a point. 
It really upsets me especially in work environment. It's sad that it was required here. But it was the right call. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.